Well, what's up, y'all? Yep, change of scenery today. Yeah. Y'all ain't been down here in a while. Yeah, I'm in the basement. Been preparing for winter. Trying to get the shop organized to where I can work out there and whatnot. And then I had the bright idea. Why don't I break some of that stuff in to work on? So that way I don't have to fire the stove up every time. So that's what I've been working on is clearing a spot out to bring some tractor goodies in. So flip this camera around. Yeah, my workbench it's always full of stuff. We had brought in a couple of the motors to rebuild. Some more here, I got a couple more. I just picked this motor up just the other day. Gave ten bucks for it. Already diagnosed it. Blown head gasket. That's all it was. That engine will probably run because it's pretty clean. I mean, it's 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 clean. Look at that shaft. Got carburetor on it. It's a 12 horse. 8 horse runs, but it doesn't run right. I'm thinking valve issue. And I have no idea about these other two engines. This engine was actually seized up and I got it freed up. So, yeah. It'd be fun just to fresh them up and get them running. And transmissions. Yeah. Got a, a poor peerless here. Unfortunately, this one, I think this one was the bad one. I think so. Yeah, the, yeah that's the bad one. It's got a lot of play. It needs an uppercase. Yeah. Ugh, just a second. Got a spider attacking me. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. All right. Back to it. Sorry about that. I just had a spider attack me. <laughs> but this transmission uh, feels like it, everything works. Five speed, I think, if I remember right. But the upper case is wore out pretty bad, so it needs an upper case. Either that or put bearings in it. Either way, it needs work. Then I have no idea what transmission this is. It's not a peerless. Uh, I think it's like a foot or something like that. But there's no identification on anywhere on this case. But it works. I think it's a five speed. I've never seen one with a uh, neutral switch built in. But it's good. I'm going to rip this one apart, posi lock it, freshen it up, and be good to go. Yeah, that's how one of the craftsmen's. Now we got a pair of spicers. This is the one that came out of the mud mower when I blew the axle out. Yeah, the guts are, something's wrong with the guts. Because uh, when it blew the axle, it blew the weld on the rear end. And it shot stuff into the gears and screwed something up. And I got a fresh axle here that's welded. It's never been in anything since it's been welded. It's ready to go. And I got this case given to me and this bucket full of parts. Yeah. So between this stuff here, this was a good transmission. But the chain, the reverse chain blew out. And of course the uh, upper gear wouldn't come off, so that's foobar. But between these two transmissions right here, I can piece one of them together and make one good spicer. Which is what I run in my uh, mud mower. Which is awesome. And I should have one more Tecumseh. Uh, Peerless Tecumseh, whatever the hell you want to call them things. And our Craftsman, actually I got two of them. Yeah, I got two more manual transmissions out there I got to pull. And I'll be freshening those up, posi locking them, getting those all ready for next summer. Same with the motors. Yeah. I figured it was a good idea just to bring it all down here and work on it. To where I don't have to fire the stove up every time. But yeah. So I'll do another update video here soon on how the shop's looking. But it's, it's just floor space, yeah. Of course, a little derby car, stroller. Also, uh, brought the kiddo's jeep in pulled the battery out so yeah it's pretty up for the winter and there's another jeep sitting right there that uh if you notice yeah i've been taking power wheels apart i've got two gearbox or uh, you know i got gearbox set in it and another spare set of gears because that jeep was completely gutted when it was given to me so i've got everything but the steering wheel to put that jeep back together 
And I'll have a pair of Jeeps for next year for the kids to play with. So, yeah. Fun, fun. Yeah, I've been organizing down here quite a bit. It is absolute mess. Yeah. Been working on my uh, Honda parts. Trying to get things organized, but holy cow, do I have so much Honda crap. And there's a bucket full of tractor parts. Box of computer junk. Some of my good Honda parts. Yeah. Gauge clusters, ECUs, TCUs, odds and ends. There's a valve cover. There's a whole nother complete head right there. Two A1 intakes. Aftermarket slim fan. They got a leather wrap steering wheel. There's a window out of my wagon. Yeah. There's a wing for a wagon. Fog lights for a wagon. And, uh, yeah. Probably can't see it, but OEM sedan visors and a flush mount wing yeah of course more rear mud flaps and more bumper lights and all other crap speakers and yeah been slowly trying to organize if you need any parts for a 90 to 93 honda accord mostly 90 91 i have them i have at least three or four of everything and if you think i'm joking i'm not hell there's a bumper right there there's the carpet out of my uh JDM Accord Another ECU TCU uh, that crates full of blower motors More parts more parts more parts. I got two brake blue boosters and mass cylinders complete brand new I got enough of these power window motors to last me forever same with the automatic belts Which is crazy. Yeah leftover parts from my JDM uh, Accord when they got wrecked. Yeah, I'll have a video on that coming up soon. Yeah, it got wrecked not horrible, but enough to rather replace the damn near the whole front end. Ugh, come back here in the darkness. Welcome to the man cave. Yeah. Yeah, of course, I've got lights and all that light up, but I don't have them going right now. Yeah. It's serious down here. But underneath this stuff. Yeah. Complete blue interior. Minus the front seats. More tail lights. I got enough 9091 tail lights to last me forever. More parts, more parts. Those are all Honda Accord parts. 9091 specifically. And uh, new additions. Beep, 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 beep. Chickens. What's up, chicken? Yeah, we got chickens. We've had chickens for a little while now. As you can see, they're getting big and they're getting ready to outgrow that hut. My lowrider bike project never get done, and some of my other bikes. Yeah. But yeah, just mostly been preparing for winter. It's been, uh, like always, I'm always busy and whatnot, but I've also been sick since the weather can't uh, decide what the hell it wants to do. So, I've been kind of relaxing a bit, not really working on anything, because I've been sick. You can kind of hear it, hear me. Yeah, it sucks. I hate being sick. But yeah. Gotta get these videos up and going some more. Uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. I got at least another shop up, shop out, uh, update coming. I'll probably make that video tomorrow unless it's daylight because it's actually like probably 7 o'clock, which is dark right now. Yeah. S Seven o'clock. Yeah, it's too dark outside to film anything. All right, then what's in the garage? And I got an update on the uh, the Pug One chair. I'll do another update on that because I've actually got it going, got it riding. Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. Yeah. And a new project I'm getting ready to start. And I got some big news on a big derby coming up. Well, not anytime soon, but in April, that'll be in. So, stay tuned for that. But until then, this is mostly just letting you know I've been preparing for winter some more. And we'll be getting some more videos going on down here in the basement. We'll have a few more coming on. Just because it's nice and warm down here, and I don't have to get the stove going. So, 
Until then, later y'all.